Have you ever had a problem running through in the pole vault? It's also called the yips or not taking jumps up. Well, this video is for you. Welcome to the Pole Vault Vlog. My name is Sean Francis, and on this channel, we talk everything pole vault. Now, there's lots of talk about pole vault training and pole vault technique, but the third one that doesn't get talked about very much is the psychology of the pole vault, the mental side of pole vault, and it's just as important as the other two. So let's dive in. They say pole vault is 80% mental and the rest is in your head, which is <laughs> kind of true when you think about it. What I want to share in this video is some unique tools that I've picked up in some pretty unique places. If you don't know, I was diagnosed with depression when I was seven years old. And if there's a silver lining to lifelong clinical depression, it's that I've met many different therapists, counselors, and psychologists in the last 25 years. And they've taught me many psychological tools that have helped me through my depression, which I've also used in my personal pole vaulting. And then I started trying these tools on my athletes and found tremendous success. And what does child psychology, sports psychology, and clinical psychology all have in common? It's all psychology. So this video is full of the most common tools I have picked up and that I use with my coaching that have helped a lot of pole vaulters. Let's get going. Mental knots or trauma knots. So a mental knot is created by some sort of psychological trauma. There are all kinds of different shapes and sizes of these knots. Some are looser than others, some are tighter than others. There's just all sorts of little knots. And they can develop for all sorts of different kinds of reasons and depending on what type of athlete or person you're dealing with, shoot, Bruce Wayne saw his parents got murdered and became Batman. Childhood psychological trauma turned him into Batman. <laughs> One important thing that we have to remember is the same situation for two different people could have way different knots. You know, a pole breaks for one kid, they go, eh, whatever, they grab a pole and they start pole vaulting again. Pole breaks for another kid and they might never pole vault again. So you have to take into account the person. Not everyone can turn into Batman. <laughs> but we're speaking strictly pole vault, not superheroes or vigilantes. So here are a few common pole vaulter knots. Running through or the yips, the fear of moving to a bigger pole, the fear of crossbars, the fear of no hiding, the fear of failing, the fear of competing, the fear of letting down the people you care about, and maybe even the fear of judgment. These are just some common ones. There are many more that can happen, but these should get you started. The rest of this video will look at how to avoid developing these knots that slow down a pole vaulter's progress. And how to untangle knots that might have already developed. And just remember that everyone has these knots in some way, shape, or form, and they can be worked with. Let's get going. Avoiding mental knots. The best way not to get a mental knot is to avoid it altogether. And what's the easiest way to do that? Say it with me, guys. Slow progressions are the best progressions, right? That's why I wrote it in every single chapter. I think the book did a really good job at stressing the rule of three and following proper progressions. But two common questions I get are, how do I overcome the fear of jumping on a bigger pole? And how do I stop running through or how do I stop a vaulter from running through? Here are two videos that demonstrate that even though there are two different situations, they have the same solution. If you found that helpful and you wanna see the rest of the video, head over to team-shoot.com as it's from chapter 12 of my pole vault toolbox pole vault course. Man, I need to change the name because I can't even say it. It's too much. While you're there, pick up a few copies of the Pole Vault Toolbox for your friends, even if they don't pole vault. Because reading is like slowly downloading information into your brain. And that's how we spread the pole vault virus. And that's how we accomplish our master plan of turning everybody into pole vaulters. Whatever you get from team-shoot.com is going to help you be a better pole vaulter or a coach and while you're doing that, it's going to help support what I'm doing. Remember, there's more than one way to pole vault and I will see you in the next one. Just a reminder, there are only two more weeks left to pre-order these shirts. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to make enough before Christmas, so it's sneaking up on us. I don't even like talking about Christmas yet, but it's coming. <laughs>